Hi everybody. So today I um we have some new subscribers. So I was going to talk about do a small little tutorial on Vedic astrology, just kind of so everybody knows where um how it how it came to me, um how my astrology story was, and I thought I would also you know give some good astrologers and some good people that are great to learn from. They've been who I've learned from and just talk about astrology. So I have a lot of new subscribers and a lot of them I've noticed have probably ha are coming from somebody that never heard of astrology, maybe they heard of Western astrology. So I decided to, I think it's a good idea if I share my PowerPoint that I've made over the past years and you can save it or, you know, screenshot it if you want it. Um, I can even send you a copy, but, um, you know, this astrology is extremely um, complicated. It's not something that I can even respond to when people ask questions. It's just the details are quite intense. So, and I don't even understand all of it, to be honest with you. There's so many different components you'll see to Vedic astrology. And I really um, wanted to start off though and say, because I recently made a just did a job switch and I was going through all my stuff and my paperwork, taking it to the office. I'm going back, I'm going to sell new homes again. And I was going through a book that I wrote. And, you know, if you're not interested in this story, you'll probably just want to skip to, um, <laughs> to a little bit further because I just thought maybe everybody would want to hear my story, how I got into astrology and this book that I wrote that I found, so I must have, I was still selling homes. Um, I just, I, well, I was started writing a book, I guess, and I wrote three pages of this. But I think this is a really good introduction to show kind of how astrology really can change you. And I have grown so much through astrology. I have became way more humbled, I'd say. Um, even if I wasn't doing these videos or, I mean, this was seriously like a fluke, um, how this all started. And I want to thank Rex from the Leak, Leak Project because if it wasn't for him, I wouldn't be doing this. And clearly, I, this is what I love doing. I've always loved astrology. I've studied it. You can ask anybody that knows me the first question that I will ask them. I don't care who they are. What time were you born? Do you know what time you're born? And it's funny because that's the title of this book that I wrote, that I forgot I wrote this book. And another thing is I found another book that I wrote when I was 10. Keep in mind, my reading books, I don't read a lot of books. I am, wasn't the best student. You'll see in this book what I'm talking about. But I find it very interesting that I wrote a book when I was 10. I don't know if you can see it. The mystery of the treasure map, okay? I wrote this when I was 10. And I found it, and I don't know if you can see my pictures. I literally drew a prison at 10 years old. And I worked at a bar for a little period of time. I wanted to work at a prison, and I did nails for a minute. <laughs> I was like an appren apprentice. But it's just really funny because I drew all these things. But I will say, I did write in this book that Heidi was born in West Mifflin, September 12th right now. She lives in Bethel Park with her family. Her favorite sports are tennis and basketball. She enjoys spending time with her best friend, Gretel, and her family. When she grows up, she wants to be an anesthesiologist. I don't know how that made that turn. But when you see this and you can see somebody that's 10, still innocent, still young, still nice, this is where I see astrology is so important because if you can even use this to reach out to your own kids, I don't have kids, but if I had kids, I would be on their charts 24 seven because you could know, you know, certain triggers, certain events that are going to happen in their life. They might not even tell you about, and it can be so life changing because I can tell you if I would have had a reading when I was probably 11, 12, probably right after I wrote this book, I probably would have made a lot better decisions. So that is really um, point of this story. But 
<clears throat> this other book that I wrote. And this is like, I'm going to be honest. This is the real deal. I mean, Heidi, me as a person, I'm about as real as they get. And, you know, I think if you don't tell your story, people can't even relate to it. And I think it's really important to tell this because I thought my life was so bad and it was, you know, so traumatic and so many bad things happened and, you know, it affected me certain ways. And, you know, ever since I started doing this astrology and I've met so many people, you really realize that what you thought was so bad, what you thought was, you know, the worst thing in the world and why this happened and why this happened, it might not have been that bad as you thought and you could have it a lot worse. And, you know, I was talking to my neighbor outside today and we were talking about how it's, you know, your life is kind of set up a certain way and you're like destined for this. You know, there's certain things you're destined for. And, you know, you can maybe buy, get there a little quicker or you can, I just think about how my life was. If you would have told me in 2000, this is when I had my Saturn return, biggest life altering moments of my life. So I got married in 2010 and divorced by 2012. And in 2012, if you would have said to me, Heidi, you are going to be doing astrology, Indian astrology, dating Indians, um, being a loan officer, now going back selling new homes, getting divorced, I would have thought you were insane and crazy. And the amount of events that have happened in my life, and it's all there. It's all there and the, like, it's, it's crazy. So your chart is made up of more than your sun, your ascendant, your sun sign and your moon sign, which I'll talk about this when I get to my presentation about astrology and stuff. Um, but I'm no teacher, which is why I'm just sharing my, sharing with you my notes. And that's why I'll talk to you about some of the really good astrologers because I learn from them and, but I'm going to be honest, I have all these notes. But a lot of the times when I do readings, I know patterns because since I've asked so many people what time were they born and from talking to them and learning about their experiences, I'm able to read charts in a different way from experience. So sometimes I'm not the best explainer, best teacher. I'm more of a hands-on person. So I learn things by memorizing the key facts and then I can do my own thing. Because when I started studying astrology um, and I learned Vedic astrology, I was so, I wanted to know what was right. The sidereal zodiac or the tropical zodiac? Which calculations are right? And literally, I spent hours, days, nights, months reading my chart, Western way and Vedic way, and testing this to see which way um, worked the best for me. Because I can see certain things in my Western chart that, yeah, it makes sense. But I studied these nakshatras before I started everything. So no matter if you put your chart Western way or Vedic way, sidereal is what it's called, these nakshatras don't change. And I started reading charts from them. So I'm going to give you the basics of astrology, but I'm not going to get into the nakshatras today. I'll go through them, but not the details because they're extremely they're just a whole nother level and they're new. Like it's like a new upcoming thing people are learning about. But I first want to read you this book because it's quite interesting. So here, and this is just me journaling, I guess, to write a book. So I did, I, there was a time where I was like, I need to write a book, but this was way before, this is right when I found astrology. Here it goes. My favorite question to ask, what time were you born? Quick, quick read for the ones who hate reading, which was me, which if there was no internet and YouTube, I don't even know how I would um, have learned astrology because I don't have patience to read. I may not have been the smartest book smart growing up and certainly nothing came easy to me. I almost failed out of high school. Graduated with a 1.98. Someone once I once dated asked, is that even possible? The question I never understood, how does a sweet little angel, says the baby books, who is speaking full sentences at 11 months, who is completely advanced, caring, so smart, so gifted, said her teachers, loves to hug and hold her brother, and is just one amazing bright child, 
have the struggles she did growing up and finding herself, sorry, this is notes. <laughs> the truth is it's out of your control and the answers rely in the secret of the universe. It's your karma you brought to this life, the debt you have to pay. And all these answers and more so and all this guidance and now just the wow, that's why it is, oh, sorry guys. And just the wow, why that is the way it is can be spelled out in the most amazing gift I received, Vedic Jyotish Astrology. What has changed my life and made me actually love myself after all the shitty things I have done and felt guilty for over the years? I now need to share this gift with anyone else who has struggles too, which is the best part, which is the best part. I have over 300 people in my database of charts. Anyone who I even have a conversation with, I'm trying to figure out their birth chart. Most people are as crazy as, God, clearly I needed to edit this. Um, most people are as crazy as I would like to say you think you are. But seriously though, it's okay. I'm going to explain what hit me one day and my baggage. I'm writing this short book not to become famous, but to share my story. And if one person gets something from this, I did get something from this that I did, I will, what I'm supposed to get, I will be happy. I grew up and was born in Pittsburgh. Like I said, I was a sweet little gifted girl. My brother has cerebral palsy. His mindset, my brother passed away recently. His mindset is an eight month year old. He's 30, can't walk, talk, or do anything. He eats from a tube. All of his health problems happened. When I was a kid, he started to have seizures. This changed ha happy Heidi, who loved her brother so much, to why do I have a brother? Why are kids so mean? I lied and pretended I didn't have a brother because I was made fun of so bad. I was picked on so much. Someone asked me once, is this, I remember this in high school. Um, I heard that you have a brother, you lock him in your basement and feed him bones. No joke, somebody asked me that one time. Um, the point of this is kids are so mean, cruel, parents need to get some control. My parents weren't really around a lot, they were always working, but I, they were there financially for me. I had a pool, all this stuff, but I was so embarrassed to bring people over because I had a brother that was retarded, in quotes. And so all my lying habits start here. I also have a sister who is extremely strong and successful. I didn't have anyone, no one did this to her. And this is where astrology and karma comes into play. One day recently, I was watching this documentary on Mother India, and I could not stop thinking about how India, how happy the kids were. They had nothing. Their parents gave them away, and they were kids on the streets. That's what the story was about. Kids in the streets, they worked the railroads in India um, to beg, and they would cut off their limbs under the railroad tracks to get more rupas. Still, and they were still happy kids. They'd have each other. The homeless kids would come home together like a wolf pack. This was the most heart-wrenching but eye-opener to me. Really, these kids have nothing and I'm bitching about X, Y, Z. I sell new homes have been extremely successful for not finishing college. Used to say, like the movie Step Brothers, it's all about who you know which is partially true. I failed every subject besides law enforcement and corrections. And if you see me or know me just randomly, you wouldn't really know that that's my passion. Um, the truth is I love the psychology of humans, what people think, why they do what they do. Shit. If you could get everybody in the universe, their time of birth, I believe you could change a lot of the problems of society. I only wanted success to make money so that I could say F you to all the people that hurt me in my past. I'll list them later. <laughs> I started political science and met some guy, moved to Maryland, worked three jobs, but everyone said you should get into real estate. I said, okay, failed the test three times, but once I did, once, the, once my last shot, I sold for a builder and made six figures within two years. I was 22 years old. I worked really hard enjoyed it, but something was missing. I was insecure, always 
about what other people thought. Who was going to leave me? So I hauled ass at work and wanted to be the best. This is interesting. I've changed a lot since then. And this just shows you like how much you grow from astrology because my God, I can't even believe I was this ridiculous. But it's, you know, it just shows how important, I mean, who knows if I didn't find astrology, how bad I would have thought my life is, you know? I was engaged once prior to getting married. So I was quite shy, but knew I could sell anything because I was genuine. Was mainly worried about the contracts, learning contracts because of school it was not my thing. I did it for a few years. The market was horrible, busted my ass to be the best in the worst market ever. I managed to always make over a hundred grand. I was 22 years old. So I met my ex-husband who was a nice guy and I was engaged before him. But then I left, I, we jumped the gun. The words and stress that I had about endings, about ending it was unreal. I had some issues with my dad and my family because they were upset, all that stuff, blah, blah, blah. Um, but I felt so out of place, lost, and I knew it was the right thing to do. I've been so blessed to have so many older friends. I always had older friends and saw how miserable they were, and I made better decisions because of it which I learned about their life experiences and wish they would have, and they wish they would have made changes sooner before it was too late. I used to go to these shrinks and just think I knew exactly what they're going to say and I'm not going to get any answers. They listen, shake their head and make me feel like I'm even more effed up when I left. So I spent a lot of time with my best friend, Deborah, who sold, I sold her, her house. Seriously, she really helped me with all of my transitions and her life experience were tools and learning experience for me. And then I met the Indian from Iowa and sold homes to all Indians. That's my ex, somebody I dated. I sold homes to a whole community of Indians who was my favorite and most transforming experience, which has certainly gotten me to forgive my past um, and learn new beliefs. So that's my little book, which I clearly stopped writing books, which is smart. And, you know, I literally, I think about this and if I didn't, you know, you're put into certain situations always. Like if I didn't sell homes, I wouldn't have been in this one community, I sold homes to all Indians. I had to learn Batsu. I had to learn directions of the doors. And that's how I got into this astrology. I dated um, this guy who asked me what time I was born. And then I was like, I'm, not, I'm a Virgo or whatever. That's what I said. So, and really, I never believed astrology. So I was very religious as a kid for my, in my, for me purposely. Like I was obsessed figuring out what happens when you die. I was scared to die. I thought I was going to die, go to hell. And so I would get saved like every day. And I used to write Heidi Loves Jesus on the wall. Some have heard these stories already, but I'm just going to like compile this into one. And I was so scared, so scared. So one day I was, it was the end, it was married. I was having an anxiety attack, but really I just needed to get divorced and figure out my life. And I was reading because I thought it was the end of the, you know, during the Mayan calendar, it's the end of the world, end of times, whatever. And I was reading these things, these scriptures that I thought I was reading revelations. Well, I was reading the Quran and I didn't even realize it. And I didn't even know what the Quran was at the moment. And it really just kind of like opened up my eyes to think about religion and, you know, what we're taught, what we're, what we're here for, because I never heard that astrology was bad, like meaning for the devil or satanic until I did a show on the leak project. <laughs> So on, and I went to a Christian school where they spoke in tongues. Never have I ever heard astrology is for the devil. Trust me, because I don't even know if I would have, I would have found it. And, or if I would have even like investigated it too much, because I would have probably been scared to. Um, and that's interesting to think that because in, in you, if you read the Bible, like literally read the Bible, they talk about how Jesus and the wise men use the stars and astrology. And people act like I'm sitting here telling people's fortunes. And by all means, that's not the case. 
Um, literally, this is software. Knowing what planets mean, signs mean, houses mean, and putting it together like a puzzle. So I think maybe if I show everybody, you know, some of the basics of astrology, you can see, you can see what I use. I'm not saying it's the right way. Everybody use, has their own way. There's so many different astrology techniques. And, you know, I'm always, I always like to learn more and more techniques. It's like I use some of Western astrology, some of Vedic astrology. I know my astrology way. I'm a, I know my signs both ways. I read my horoscopes both ways. I read six different signs because they change 100%. And, you know, I think it's just everybody battles and fights about which way is the right way. It really doesn't matter. Because I can tell you that however you find it and however it clicks with you is really what matters. So some people use the sidereal zodiac, some people use tropical, some use a mix of both. That confused me. So that's, um, but that's the, one of the smartest astrologers in the world uses sidereal nakshatras with tropical zodiac signs. Smart, 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 smart. He made the software that I use. And software that I use is on my website, whateverkind.org. You go to the side, you hit um, purchase Kala, it goes right to his website. Kala is the astrology software that I use. Um, Ernst Wilm, genius, literally. Um, I've had a reading from him, great reading. I've had a reading from pretty much every astrologer known to man, I think. And I really, I was just like, hoping an astrologer would say a different answer, but, and that's, I'm also going to talk about, um, probably going to make this two parts because I'm going to talk about, you know, what to expect when you get a reading from astrologers, because I think people come into it and think that they're going to get hear everything they want to hear. They're going to have an answer for everything. And that's not the case. First of all, some people don't even, there's some things that people aren't even supposed to know. So like you're supposed to hear what you're supposed to hear. And like there's certain topics that some astrologers tend to do better with, I've noticed, you know, like I'm going to go through all the people that I think are great um, astrologers and who to learn from. Um, but I'll have to say that I'm going to give my first kudos to KRS Kapil. Um, he is, he made, I guess, Vedic astrology fun, but he happened to be the person, when I Googled Vedic astrology, Scorpio rising, his video came up first. And, you know, I had horrible readings from a couple of people that use different systems, KP systems. And I was told I was going to die in a bar fight. And I was petrified. Literally, I was well I'm past the time I should have died. Um, and it was so negative, literally, like it was probably the most but I think I would thank him because honest to God, if he didn't do that and he would have told me like, oh, everything's going to be great. You're going to do this, 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 this. I swear to God, I probably wouldn't have studied astrology and I wouldn't have found myself. I would be even more lost. So that's my point. There's a reason for everything in your life. And, you know, I've spent thousands and thousands and thousands of dollars on getting readings and like waiting for hearing a different answer. The point is, um, that's why I call it life coach. Um, a, because of the religious people, I don't want them to get offended in any way. I know some people don't like to say the word astrology. So I try to cater to everybody's needs. So that's literally why I call it Vedic life coach. So, um, cause clearly it's astrology. I need to know what time you're born to do a reading or close enough to it. The time of your birth is so important. We'll get there. Um, what else was I going to say? Sorry, it's really awkward recording yourself. I mean, I always forget what I was going to say. Um, but I had all these crazy readings, and then I found um, Joni Petrie, which I have a YouTube with her. And she read my chart and read it. Yeah, she said the negative stuff. But still, she brought up a lot of my positive gifts. And then she even brought in the outer planets because she was a Western astrologer for 30 years and found Vedic astrology. And she brought up the nakshatras and as well, same thing. I was talking about like Swati in my chart, Anurata. And, you know, I saved every reading I've ever had. Anybody I would date I would, or I would consider dating, I um, 
would get a reading from her, check them out. And, you know, they would never be good. And I just decided to learn this myself. I was like, I'm wasting, I'm wasting all this money. I got to learn this myself. So I bought the software before I bought any books. And I navigated around the software and learned all these different systems. And it really has, I can say that not only, I was talking to my neighbor earlier, I just said that, but I was talking about how astrology really just helps you accept your life because I had a lot of anger, like anger that I would bust out on anybody just from my brother situation. And I was like, why did that happen to him? He had seizures, mindset of an eight month year old. It was horrible. I couldn't understand why God did this to him. And it was really, really hard for me. And Normally that shouldn't, and like, I look at it now and I'm like, you were such, you were pathetic. I look at it and, you know, if I wasn't so worried about what everybody thought about me, which that's why I feel like I need to tell all these stories because if you, when I sit here and just read these charts, it doesn't even do it any justice. You have to hear like why, what happened because I was about as insecure as they get. If I was hanging out with this person when I was a teenager, I'd be where I'd be acting like this. I swear to God, I had used to have Nike checks on my nails at one point. So I went through like every weird stage and I have K2 in the first house. So that does that to you. And your chart is this big composite of everything that you're supposed to be. And you know, there's good and there's bad. But if certain things didn't come into my life and if I didn't find astrology, I don't know where I would be because I definitely had some, I can be a feisty bitch. I'm going to be honest <laughs> and I could get mad and I could get mad and you don't even want to see me mad. And I don't get mad anymore. It's, it is so weird because I just can like this weird, I can just like understand it through astrology now. It's like this peace that I have and I believe in God. I'm, I still consider myself a Christian. But I definitely like the whole Hindu religion as well. So I feel I have a lot of, I know a lot about the deities, the Gita. You know, I know I meditate to Indian music. And I connect with that as well, as well probably just as much as Christianity. So in my opinion, um, religion is just tools to help you stay sane, I guess. You know, and there's... There's meaning to all of it, um, but I'm not one to judge anybody for their religion. So, you know, certain people are brought up certain ways. And, you know, when I heard that there, when I found out that there's a billion people in India and there's not even a billion people in Texas, New Mexico, in California, that was a little eye opening to me because um, I grew up and I didn't know a lot of other cultures. It was literally just Americans. And I, Literally, when I found out that there were so many people, when you look at it from like statistic wise and geographically, just really, really opened up my eyes. And I don't know, I just think that this world is a crazy place right now. Um, it, there's a lot of nonsense, anger, the hate, fight, terrorist attacks, um, I, I mean, bashing, just, it is full of shit. Seriously. Like it is absolutely crazy. And I swear to God, I believe in my heart that I just think if that person could have only had an astrology reading, I really, I really mean that because I think a lot of people do some of the things they do because they don't know what to do. They just are going through this like whirlwind of emotions at certain time frames. And they're in the charts, they're triggered, where some people's emotions can go a certain way. Why somebody's a schizophrenic? Why somebody's bipolar? Why somebody, you know, have this health condition? Why does it, it's all there. Everything is written in these, in these charts. And if you can just accept it and understand it, because you're here to learn a lesson. You pick the karma that you, you picked what you were here to learn. We all knew each other. Anybody that meets me, we already decided we're going to meet me. Anybody that, you know, this is all destined. I do believe that you're given a specific life path. You're driving the bus, though. 
you're in the driver's seat, you can make the left turn, right turn. But if you don't really know that there is a left turn or a right turn, you know, it's like a disservice that, you know, certain people that do things in their life and they get in trouble for things or they're in, they end up in jail for doing something when they're young for like, you know, for this many years. You just, you just have to wonder, like, because I have such um, a psych, like I just want to know the psychology of things and you know why people do what they do. You know, I look at every person, you know, differently in a way that their chart is this way. So you can't really judge them for certain things. And I can tell you, when you start doing this, you don't get mad. You forgive all the assholes in your life, like anybody that ever made you mad. You're, you're not mad anymore. You're just like, oh, it was in their chart. I swear. Like, these are things that I feel that are so important. And I don't care if I have a million subscribers, 600, 20, whatever. Literally, the fact that I can just share this because it's so important. Because I just think that the world would be a better place if we all had astrology and have had a reading, a deep reading, like a psychological reading in a way, not a reading every, like sometimes people call, they're like, I want to know this date. A lot of people want to know like money, this, that, and yeah, that stuff's all important. Right. But I think the most important thing to know when you get a reading is what you're destined here for, what your gifts are, what your talents are, and what are the difficulties that you face? What's your karma? Like, what's your struggles that are going to really alter every decision that you make? And what, like, what, whether it be your siblings, whether it be your parents, whether it be, some, you know, somebody that's been raped. I've seen it all. I literally, I've seen it all. And I have done a lot. I, since I've done the leak project, I've done a totally different group of charts, you know, like truth seekers, deep people. And the most deep people usually have some of the most chaotic charts. It's just the way it is. And just like a lot of astrologers have crazy charts, just like, you know, I have a crazy chart. I, I've been told like, I could have been this way. I could be this way or this way, you know, and, but not once did anybody ever tell me that it's my obsess obsession with astrology. So I think that's where I look at astrology with a totally different set of eyes. And I have, since I have K2 in the first house, I know a lot about the nodes, the North node, South node. And when you have, they're everybody tries to say they're this, they're that, they're this, they're that. I can tell you, I think they mean pretty much like, so they have so many different things. They can do so many different things. They can make you have one thing with a million other bad things. They can make you have a great thing and a million depression thoughts. Like it's when you have Rahu and K2 controlling your life every day. And because luckily I am a Scorpio ascendant with Mars and K2 in the first, I'm able to understand, I've done research, investigation on it. And I have learned Rahu K2 because they're in control in a way. They're in control of my life. So I either go with it <laughs> and learn to love them, or I just go through a lot of anxiety and animosity and always thinking that this should happen or this should happen. And that's the one, the beauty of astrology. Once you learn these certain little tricks, you know, you can really, really, really um, accept things. And, you know, I think that's, I hope I help a lot of people. I, that's always been my, get, my, my dream. You could have asked me when I was two, five, ten, what do you want to do? It would have just been to help people. I didn't know how, where, when, why. I mean, it just... I've always wanted to help people that were struggling. And that's, I think that's why I wanted to work in a correctional facility and why I wanted to be a cop. Um, because there are a lot of good cops and there are a lot of good people. And I think there's, you know, it didn't happen that way, but 
in a way I'm still investigating like I wanted to do, but I'm doing it on a whole nother level. So I don't know. I'm going to make this two different videos because next video, which I'm going to do right now, um, I'm going to talk about the houses, the, um, not just the, I'm going to go through a PowerPoint and tell you, um, the basics of astrology and how I kind of interpret charts and what I look at, because I really don't, with my new job and everything going on right now, I didn't, I have not had a lot of time. So I apologize for not making videos. Um, I'm so excited that I have all these new subscribers. Um, I want to thank Rex again. So if you have not heard of the leak project, please subscribe to the leak project. It wasn't for him and me asking him what time he was born. Cause I watched one of his shows and doing a reading. And he was like, you need to do a show on my channel. I was like, on what? And he was like, astrology. I was like, I'm not an astrologer. That's how all of this went down. And, you know, I'm, I just couldn't be more grateful to him. And, you know, everybody that's taught me everything. Because it is a very, very, it's a lot of information. So I've learned a lot from pretty much everybody. And um, you know what, I'm going to talk about it. some of the other astrologers. I wrote them down real quick. Just a few other ones. So obviously KRS Kapil. It's KRS Astrology. He's like, if you Google Vedic Astrology, I guarantee you on YouTube, it's going to be the first one that pops up. Joni Patry, um, she's phenomenal reading, she's phenomenal. She's one of my good friends. Love her to death. She's like, I don't know. She's great. She's just great. Um, I study the nakshatras. When you study the nakshatras, it's kind of another level. So I would start, honestly, with Joni Patri, um, Sam Jeppy, Vedic astrology, okay? This is what I'm saying to start with. Um, Michael Reed, Dennis Harness. He's got a great book. You want to start with, like, the simple basic books. Like, you know, the basics, not just the signs, you know, you need to learn the aspects. You need to learn um, strength, sh Shadbala. All this stuff is, you know, they might call it, there's way different aspects in Vedic astrology than there is Western astrology. Um, I'm going to get to that in my tutorial next video. But um, Ernst Wilm, obviously, he's a genius, but when I study him, Ryan Kurzak, um, Vic, the car, he's phenomenal with nakshatras. Uh, they use the Vedic system, that sidereal zodiac with, I mean, I'm sorry, sidereal nakshatras with tropical zodiacs. And that confuses me. But some people like that. Like, you know, I know some people just, they're more um, calculative. They believe they, the progression and all that's, you know, like I've studied both. I click best with Vedic, sidereal zodiac. It is what it is. Um, I know how to read charts both ways, um, but for me, I study them both. So it, I talk about the nakshatras. Nakshatras are from India. Well, it's from India. It's like, it's just what I clicked with and what I understood the best. So Dennis Hardest is phenomenal. He's like a lot of psychology. He does a lot of stuff like that. Relationship compatibility. Um, Dr. Arjun Pai. When you start getting on nakshatras, he's amazing. He's got an app. I would um, definitely consider getting it. It's called Cosmic Insights. Amazing. Get it. It's totally worth it. It's about if you want to learn nakshatras. Um, Michael Reed, I think I already said that. Eve Mendoza, this woman is just, she understands nakshatras on another level. She's like. Um, she studies with like the next chakra team, I call them. And um, even KRS, he's really great with Nick Chakras. He's really ramped up all of this stuff. So he's really good with them as well. Sam Jeppy, I think I said that, but he's great. Um, there are so, like, there are so many. And even if you go to, what else I'm trying to think? I, I feel like if, if I miss somebody, I'll feel horrible. Um, I have a regular YouTube channel that I use to scroll. If you go on there, uh, oh, 
the Leo King. So Western astrology all the way, I use the Leo King, Nadia Shah. Love Nadia Shah, she's so positive, she's great. The Leo King, he is funny as hell, he's as real as they get. He's like, he cracks, he's entertaining, he does music. He's got a phenomenal app. It's the Leo King app. He's got the number one app that, and even he says in one of his videos, and he's actually going to do a show with me one of these days, once he's getting married and stuff. Congratulations. But he, um, I've had a lot of talks with him, and he is so, he's so funny. He's like, he just, he's a real, the real deal. He doesn't beat around the bush. And I've always respected that about him because he tells it like it is. And somebody that does tell it like it is, they're just, they can make some light of it. You know, it's just, I have a lot of respect, but the Leo King is phenomenal. Um, what else? Nadia Shah. And there are a couple tarot card readers that I really like besides Jenny. Um, Pam, the Lucky Mermaid. Uh, Pam, I don't know her last name off the top of my head. And um, Sunny Shadows, I love her too. She's gonna be doing a video with me as well. Um, so they, these are just a couple, and if I've missed somebody, I'm so sorry. I, I know there's so many good astrologers, um, but that's who I can think of at the, off the top of my head. And if I remember them for the next video, I'll bring them up. Um, but that's who I really study from the most. My advice is always to study the basics first. Because if you don't know the basics, you'll just get lost. I've studied the basics so much that the techniques are, you, I mean, there's so much even in the basics, to leave it at that, with Vedic astrology. I mean, I've had to learn like a little Sanskrit. And from, like I said, I was on the dean's list in college when I could do corrections and I could do criminal justice. So I can study astrology but everything else was like, not even, like it has to be exciting to me. And I don't know, I just think you have to learn the basics to understand astrology, it's always good to. Um, but that's all for this video. Next video I do, it's gonna come out today, I'm going to just go through my slideshow and you can see, you know, some of my slides that I use in my notes and I'll talk about Vedic astrology difference. And thank you for all the new subscribers. Um, I appreciate everybody who's got a reading from me. I've met the most awesome people. Can't even, I don't know. I'm just, I'm just so grateful that I've even been able to do this because I finally feel like I had a pur have a purpose. And I think that is so important. So I'm gonna end it and I will talk soon.